Okay, now what we're going to do, I'll try to keep you apprised page by page. This is uh, the first page. Here's the step by step instructions. And the next one is going to be oh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Okay, here are the other instructions. And let's go to page 154. And okay, that'll bring us up to speed here for just a moment. <clears throat> First instruction we're told to do is we begin by clicking the new part. We click part. It says okay. Uh, next thing we're going to have to do, if you look ahead at the instructions, it tells us that we're going to be dealing in inches as opposed to uh, the metric system. So little heads up there. We'll change that to inches. Uh, we're told to select the front plane. Then from the uh, sketch group we are told to select the zero or the circle. We to drag out a circle. Uh, then we're going to dimension that circle to be six inches. Then the next thing it says to do is we're going to select select extrude boss base tool from the features command. It's that one there. And then we're going to uh, change this value right here to 0.25 inches. We click on that. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a uh, well, a plane that is offset uh, from this particular part. We're going to actually set up a, a second plane. And it says while we do that, uh, we want to select the uh, front plane. And then while we're holding down the control key, we bring this over here. We left click on that and we pull it out. Okay, you see the little move thing that it takes it a few minutes it's kind of slow and then this right here is the offset distance we want to change that value to 1.5 click the uh, green check mark and that's what we've got okay okay now what we're told to do is to click on the boundary of this uh, plane. You'll see the little pop-up comes up here. We click normal 2. Then from the sketch group up here we're told to select the circle. And we're supposed to drag out a circle from the origin. Click escape to get out of that. And we're going to dimension this circle. It says to dimension it 2.2 inches. That's what we did. Okay. Okay, the next step is we are from the features uh, group. We're supposed to choose that one. And then we're supposed to set the direction uh, in the boss that's extruded toward the base. See, that's the reverse direction right there. So we reverse that. Uh, we're going to change the type of extrusion here uh, up to next and then we're going to turn the draft on pause with me while I figure out how to okay this is a fly out right here draft on and off we're going to turn that on and you'll see it shows up there we're told to set that to three degrees okay and then we're going to check the uh, draft outward box, which is right there. And then we should click on the green check mark to complete it. And that's what we're going to get. And now then from the heads up toolbar, okay, okay, from the heads up toolbar, you see the little sunglasses thing. Click the drop down on that, and then this one right here view planes 
and what that does you either click it or and it toggles back and forth to display the planes you see there click it the plane is displayed there I click it and the plane is not displayed so okay okay what we're supposed to do is choose that face right there then we select normal two uh oh we don't want to do that hang on okay now what I did here I'm deviating just a little bit from the uh, instructions I'm not going to click normal to view because it uh, turned the part completely around so what I'm going to do from this view here I'm going to uh, select that face I'm not going to select the normal two and then I'm going to click the uh, circle from there and it goes to normal view all by itself and then I'm going to drag out a circle from here. I'm going to click there, click escape. I'm going to do my smart dimension. Click on this, and the instructions say to make that 1.8 inches. I've done that. Okay. Then I'm going to click escape. Uh, then it tells us to do the extrude cut tool from the features group the extrude cut tool is that one right there uh, from the, we're supposed to select through all as the type going to turn the draft on remember that's this one right here I'm going to set it at an angle of two degrees and we're going to make sure that the draft outward box is checked then we click the check mark and there you go okay that's the part we've got and we're going to finish this and start another video this we will begin the next one on page let's see here this carried us through let me see here 55. This is where we got to right here. So we'll begin right here on the next video.